Good morning, it's the 2nd of March and it's raining here in Cornwall. <laughs> it's been raining all year so far on the Isle of Wight and in Cornwall. I've just arrived back in Cornwall day before yesterday. So I spent basically the whole of the summer on the Isle of Wight, last summer that was, 2023. Now I'm back down in Cornwall for a visit, a few days, maybe a bit longer. In Falmouth, of course. So it's uh, it's about 11 o'clock now in the morning. Just heading down to the Fox Cafe near Gilly Beach on the campus, actually, just to do a bit of writing there until I go up to the main campus in Penryn to do even more writing uh, this afternoon. So I still have seven books out, uh, just working on a couple more. Um, I'm hoping to have one out the end of March, March 2024. Was it 2nd of March today? Um, it's going really well, the, the writing. Book sales are kind of um, ticking along at a very low level, as kind of expected. Um, I think I need to get a few more out, several more books out, and I can really go for it in terms of the whole kind of promotion and advertising side of things, which I've not done at all, apart from a few Twitter, ex-Twitter tweets, or X's, whatever they're called, <laughs> and um, blog posts and on my YouTube channels. Um, so content marketing, effectively. But yeah, I've really enjoyed the writing side of things. Um, I've run out of money completely, obviously. Uh, so I did set up a Buy Me A Coffee account, the link to which is in the video description below <laughs> uh, set up a buy me a coffee account and that's actually um, been quite good so supporters have uh, been very kind and have bought me a few coffees which is wonderful I do need caffeine when I'm writing books in cafes so that's really good uh, the YouTube channels are going pretty well so the Cornish Van Dweller channel which is one of my channels is up to what is it 700 and something so approaching the 1,000 subscriber mark, which is a really good milestone. Uh, this particular channel that you're listening to now has quite a few fewer, 270 odd subscribers. So thank you for subscribing. If you haven't, please subscribe to this channel. If I can get up to 1,000, then those pesky um, adverts that everyone sees, unfortunately. So YouTube automatically puts adverts onto everyone's videos and those uh, advertisers pay YouTube money which me as a content creator, as a video creator, I don't see any of that money until and unless I get up to a thousand subscribers and what is it, 4,000 hours of watch time. So I'm nowhere near either of those targets with the um, with this channel you're looking at, you're watching now. But with the Cornish Van Dweller channel, I've exceeded the watch hours and um, kind of slowly approaching the 1,000 subscriber mark, at which point I can join Google AdSense and I will get a small cut of the money those advertisers pay at no cost to the viewer, you. Um, but that's really good, so that's a little side hustle. This was the Isle of Wight. Uh, Isle of Rhodes would be spraying these walls constantly, or at least annually. Don't do that in Cornwall for some reason. Probably because I don't need to. I don't need to on the Isle of Wight. Don't know about you, but I think they're far nicer with native wildflowers and some garden escapees, some naturalised plants. Like grape hyacinth. Yeah, these walls look much nicer vegetated than they do bare of vegetation. So back on Penryn campus now, it's a Saturday, so nice and peaceful in Koofy, uh, drinking coffee and writing. Uh, so I'm going to probably try and get about 3,000 words drafted. So basically I can write, uh, I'm going to be typing, but I normally do voice to text. Did a bit of voice to text earlier today, but I can normally write about 3,000 words a day, but they're just incredibly rough, kind of 
brainstorming type writing for a very early first draft of whatever it is I happen to be writing at the time. Um, much, much faster using voice to text than physically typing on a keyboard. But this afternoon, because I'm in a little cafe, I'm going to be physically typing on the keyboard. Although if I sat outside here in the sun, I could do voice to text. I don't like doing it in a cafe, really. Although I have discovered that you can use one of those little cheap lavalier microphones and whisper into it. And it will still correctly um, render what you're saying as text. Um, as long as you clearly enunciate what you're saying. So basically whispering into a little lavalier microphone so nobody else in the cafe can hear what you're saying is um, a pretty effective way of getting an early draft done. But using voice to text, I can normally get about... Um, well, the rate at which I can get words down on paper is a lot faster using voice to text than um, physically typing and I can easily get 3,000 words done in the morning using voice to text. Um, normally typing probably 1,500 is enough for an hour, two hour slot and then I need a break. But um, yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing now for a few hours, a couple of hours. Uh, there'll be some football distracting me in the background. <laughs> really does feel like spring though. So I'm very tempted to work outside. Lots and lots of goldfinches. Uh, there's some siskins earlier, which is nice. So they're here during the summer, the siskins. Um, yeah, so hope you're all having a lovely day. Do read the description for this video below because there are some links to my kind of website and my other YouTube channel. Cornish Van Dweller and um, yeah, various other links. But um, yeah, I'll be updating videos more regularly on this channel going forward. I've been concentrating on the Van Life channel, but I've got some additional subscribers on this channel, so it'd be good to produce some actual content. <laughs> if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And uh, as I say, read the description for this video below. Press the like button if you like the video, and I shall upload another video shortly.